Hello, this is going to be a short video on how to put the part of fortune and part of spirit in the chart wheel. This question came up today, uh, and it's come up before, so I thought I'd make a little video about this. There's a new issue that has come up in, say, the last 10 years or so, especially in astrology, or maybe the last 15 years, which is there are two ways to calculate the part of fortune. So, in the astrology wheel, here I have an art wheel, uh, but it's just like any other wheel. Like it, here's a, a kind of a wheel style you're more familiar with. Uh, just for fun, let's look at the art wheel. It doesn't really matter uh, for what I'm going to do here. Um, this is an optional art wheel uh, in what's called the Pastel Collection for the Series 1.3 software, which is, which is what I'm in here. Um, we see here the part of fortune, and... You know, astrologers, if you go back to the 60s and 70s when astrologers were learning how to, learning astrology and making chart wheels by hand, um, very often we were told to put the part of fortune in the chart wheel. So it's been a tradition to put the part of fortune in the chart wheel along with everything else we put in there. Um, but now there's a new problem, which is the, the ancient versus modern form of, of the uh, part of fortune. So this is a chart for Amelia Earhart. Uh, who made the famous voyages and uh, her tragic ending of her life, uh, flying airplanes. Um, and she was born at night, so she was born 11.30 p.m. She was born at night, and the sun is, of course, below the horizon, so she was born at night. Um, so if I right-click to go to the settings, and I click on Customize, our usual thing in series, just right-click, go to Customize, I can select whether I want, for the part of fortune, the modern formula or the ancient formula. So notice that the uh, part of fortune is up here at 12 degrees Pisces, and if I click the ancient formula, it asks if I want to use this for all wheel styles, which is a convenience, uh, which you might want to use if you like the ancient formula. You can just set it for all your wheel styles. I'll just accept no. And now the part of fortune has jumped way down here to 24 Gemini. So, some people want, prefer the 24 Gemini position uh, if they, because they prefer the ancient formula. Some prefer, prefer the position up here, whatever it was, I think 12 Pisces or something. Um, so, we no longer have an easy way to put the part of fortune in the wheel because different astrologers want a different part of fortune. So, what do you do? Well, the nice idea is to put both of them in there. Um, so, this, this question comes up a lot, and, and you can do this in serious. Um, so I'll show you how to do it. Here is the button for it. Asteroids, lots, nodes. Lot is another word for Arabic part. Uh, so it brings up the window, and uh, over here is what other Arabic parts you want. You can add the nine Hellenistic lots, and you can add or just the part of spirit. And there it is. Well, that default color is is black, so it it really stands out on this wheel. So I will, uh, we, could, we could change those color settings, but uh, I'll click on Done, OK, OK, and so there we have it. And let's do another example here with a more typical wheel style. I will, I've got the uh, part of fortune of 12 Pisces. I right click, I go to Customize, I notice that that is the modern formula, the 12 Pisces. Again, just to show this to you again, in a wheel style that's more like the ones you probably use, I click on the Asteroids, Lots, Nodes, I click on Spirit, I click on Done, and OK, and OK. And so now I have both of them. And this glyph for part of Spirit is a circle with two wavy things under it. This was found in an ancient uh, text on astrology that some people were using this glyph, so this is the one we added. What came up today is that some people are proposing new glyphs for the part of spirit. So um, it looks like we're going to have to add an option for this because um, just today I found out people are proposing new glyphs for the part of spirit and they're asking about can any software put the part of spirit in the wheel. So there it is. You have fortune and you have spirit both in the wheel. Very nice. I myself need to get in the habit of putting both in the wheel so that when I'm showing a chart wheel uh, whether the person prefers the, the modern part of fortune uh, calculation or the ancient, uh, they'll have both of them. 
there, and they and then you would just know that if the sun is below the horizon, then the part of spirit is actually the part of fortune using the ancient formula. So you could just be aware of that and just give people the the modern uh, calculation, for example. Um, so I need to get in that habit myself in all of my tutorials and lectures and papers I write. Put both in there, so no matter what the person's preference is, um, they will have both. Now, the, the, uh, when we do add the option, it looks like we're, we will be adding that, um, for a glyph, that's in the settings, and then other settings, and then under astro settings and astro font, there are choices for what glyph you want for Uranus, for Neptune, for Pluto, there are four choices for the asteroid, the dwarf planet or asteroid Eris, there are four choices, and for Lilith and so on, and some other asteroids have, uh, you know, choices of glyphs, so we, we will just add in here um, part of spirit and give the two choices, or three choices, or four choices. I have a feeling possibly more and more will be coming up, so you have, you have those options. Um, so... So that's it. That's how you put the part of fortune, part of spirit in the wheel. I uh, you know, just wanted to let you know about that because all of a sudden a lot of people are asking about it. Um, today it came up several times. Um, so I thought I'd just make the video to make that clear. We like to have these videos so that if it's the middle of the night or something uh, or you don't want to have to call or e wait for an email, we have all this information in these videos for specific questions. Okay, that's it. Take care. God bless. Namaste.